Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part three of the 1739 video, I do believe, of Owen, just crazy Benjamin. To prepare for a movie. I think that that movie, Sound of Freedom, is worse than Barbie or any of the shit that Hollywood's making. Way, way, way worse. Because it shows a normalization and an escalation of, of the acceptance of child pornography. And if you don't see that... No, it doesn't. I don't, I don't think it does. Well, I would have to see it, so I can't say no, it doesn't. But he, he's never seen it either. The fact that... You have to remember that in this whole two weeks or so of him trashing this movie, he has said that a 14-year-old is the exact same thing as a 35-year-old. That's not my fault. Okay. I'm not no, like people that ascribe uh, an agenda. Like I'm going to, I'm going to explain to you guys crypto again. Okay. Cause people are, are like this one listener is like, you got to talk to this guy about Twitter, about crypto. What are you scared? What are you, what are you trying to manipulate your audience? What do you, what do you secretly? No, no, I'm explaining to you what I think. And if you disagree with me, that's on you. If you don't see what I'm seeing, that's on you. What I'm saying is completely understandable and obviously true. Jim Cru that is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard a human being say as much as they say it. What I'm saying is absolutely true, factual facts. Fiesel openly talks about how he watched child porn. No, he didn't. He said that he was shown some things. That's all he said. To be able to understand what it was to be Tim Ballard. Tim Ballard openly and flippantly brags about how he has the largest child porn collection in the world. That's fucked up. Okay, so the only clip that I saw of Tim Ballard saying anything like that was whenever he was interviewing a PDF computer file and was pretending to be one of them, and that's one of the things that he said. And if you don't understand it, that's on you. You don't get to accuse me of promoting human sex trafficking. We get to do whatever we want to because we don't have bear goggles on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, it's it's kind of – this is one of them days where it's kind of difficult to be – uh, whatever. <laughs> because you don't understand that that's an escalation. When Dennis Prager today tweeted, what is not conservative? Um, Dennis, want to know what's not conservative? Two sodomites claiming to be married who bought two kids. Dave Rubin, okay? The right wing is doing way more crazy shit than the left wing. You just can't see it. It's like for Dave Rubin to say he married a man that he fucked. Okay, in in today's in today's world, because of uh, technology and and the ability to understand the human condition on a mass level as as what we do, there are absolutely people out there who pretend to be other things in order to um, tarnish. Certain thing, and I, you could honestly argue that Owen Benjamin is that. He is a disgusting leftist, left wing. The absolute depravity of mankind can be found in Owen Benjamin, and he pretends to be a truther. He pretends to have all of these nuggets of wisdom and <coughs> universal truths and whatnot. Now, am I declaring that to be facts? No, but that there's more of an argument for that than him saying the things that he has said about almost. Uh, the accusations that he has in the ass and he adopted two boys to live with them is way crazier than any of the Hollywood gays I used to hang out with. All they would do is get hammered and blow each other at a Coldplay concert. All right. They weren't trying to normalize it. I wonder if Owen's ever been to a Coldplay concert. Like the right wing does Jim Creviesel making it seem okay that he watched child porn to recreate a fake Hollywood movie. This <laughs> One of his tactics is just repeating the same lie over and over and over again. That's propaganda 101. Just repeat it. Repeat it. People will believe it eventually. But no. No, he is losing his power simply by people saying the word no. As an actor is fucking insane. Him pretending that Donald Trump is Moses and he's Jesus Christ is more nakedly blasphemous than anything I've ever said on this stream. That's because it's not true. I think he might have said, I've heard rumors that Jim Caviezel said something about uh, Donald Trump being the next Moses or something, which is, 
It, I mean, <laughs> that's bizarre to say the least. But uh, him pretending, him acting like he was Jesus because he was in a movie. But I don't think that he thinks that he's Jesus. Ever. And I'm a shocking, uh, shock comedian. Okay? So you don't know what you're talking about. It's the same with these crypto bros. Let me, uh, let me. What did you just say? Price he's is a- more nakedly blasphemous than anything I've ever said on this stream, ever. And I'm a shocking, uh, shock comedian. I'm a shocking, shock comedian. That's the first time I've heard him describe himself as a shock comedian. I did the other day call him a uh, provocateur. But it's still a stretch to call him for him to be called a comedian at this point. Uh, I really I mean, maybe I don't know. I might be to be to be I might be too harsh, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he's a comedian. And I don't think that's too harsh. My speech got retarded there for a second, trying to say something that I didn't believe. I don't think I'm being too harsh. Okay, so you don't know what you're talking about. It's the same with these crypto bros. Let me uh, let me read the, my, my statement about crypto. Okay, to wake around and D bear uh, sends a good D live thing. Maybe I'm not sure about Kubrick's take on multiple bodies, etc. But she was a great guest. Enjoyed it. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of things you disagree with her on it. But I just thought she was a wonderful and delightful person. Couple tips on Rockfin, who is also a member of a dangerous cult. Thank you. Let me read. Uh, let me read what I wrote about uh, crypto. And and again, just because you disagree with me doesn't mean you get to make accusations. Well, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. But what I'm about to say is completely understandable. And because and just because I don't. If <laughs> it's crazy that people actually listen, I don't even know if they do. I honestly don't. Well, I mean, he's still getting super chats, but who knows if those are real? You know, he hasn't read a letter on a live stream that I can remember in a minute. He mentioned one earlier, but it was because I say earlier, one of the previous videos, but it was because it, it, he's he went to read it. And for some, he had already read it. So he said that it was, it came across uh, aggressive, but then he tried to read it and it, I don't know. He sounded stupid trying to read. He sounded like he didn't know how to read, even though he had just read it. But somebody that has to, to say multiple times before they make a statement of this is absolutely true. This is totally understandable. I don't know. I don't know why he feels the need to say that. Just say it. Just read it. I want to have on your guest. Like imagine if somebody was trying to pitch me a, like a, a timeshare in Boca Raton. And they're like, what are you scared to hear what he has to say on your stream? No, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be, a, I've had, I had Dave Weiss on to explain and a, a, one of my friends, like some of my friends are super into crypto and I let him explain it as best as he could. And I've tried to understand it. I'm somebody that has been banned from all kinds of shit. I would love to be able to get around censorship and get around banking. And I accept silver in my, um, in my farm stand. Like I really do want to, to get around it, but crypto isn't the, he accepts probably anything at that farm stand. If it means selling anything way, and I'll explain it right now. Rumble says awesome. Super chat sync last stream. I said, you should have Adam King on and you responded. I was just on a show. Much love to the top B. Yeah, I'm the top B. Yeah. I just did Stu Peters, show and Adam King show. I banned a crypto squirter. And you also know it's fake because every time you bring it up, a thousand people will try and sell you on it. Okay? You just have to develop your instincts about what is a scam. Oh, really? Coming from land scam? No, no. That's obviously not a scam because nobody – it's like we just crowdfund to buy land so we can have events at it. No, no. <laughs> no. That Ira voice, it only comes up whenever he knows that he's full of crap. Whenever he's uh, – it, it's just horse hockey. <clears throat> No, the land scam was a scam because it was a it was an investment pitch, much like what he's talking about. It's it was an investment, is what it was, and then he backpedaled and backpedaled. It was definitely a scam, one hundred percent, without a shadow of a doubt. So many uh, proofs to back that up. That's facts. I don't know if you've if I've ever if I've ever said that's facts, but that's facts, factual. That was a scam, and it's still a scam. It's one of the reasons why Niggle is just so stupid and needless. 
There's no reason to go back more than three years. Now it's it's probably fun and entertaining, but for all for all intended purposes, just three years. That's it. That's it. The the foundation that this entire that his entire world is based on right now is built on lies, deceit, predatorial behavior during a worldwide crisis. Took advantage of a whole lot of kind-hearted people. Nobody is like like uh, coming at you all day on Twitter, pretending to be other people, trying to get like trying to promise something that they can't deliver. You'll make fifteen thousand dollars in the first day if you just buy Squirt Coin. Oh, that's that's crazy. That that's what he. That's how he uh, described that. Making promises they can't deliver. Crazy man. The self awareness. Okay, not- let me just break down Bitcoin. Then we'll get into uh, Jamie Fox. This is a very understandable and clear message about uh, crypto. Do you get it yet? That's probably the third, at least the third time that he said, this is a very easy, what a, you don't have to talk that way. You don't have to. He does that because it's not. And if it is, then it's not doing it any justice at all. And no, it, like this is not welcoming. <laughs> oh, you, you won't have on an expert. I, I have had on an expert. I have looked into it. I'm very smart. It's a scam and I'll explain it. I'm very smart. I I said this earlier. I think he... I I honestly think that he might have a mild form of actual mental retardation. Like, he might be mildly retarded. And I, I mean just low IQ. I hope that's not insulting. I, I I don't want to offend anyone, but I I honestly think because the people he's he's dumb enough to think that he's smart, if that makes sense. Now you can you can have self uh, self esteem and um, what's that confidence and put in enough effort and work into something and, and be sure of yourself. But just to just to say that, I'm very smart. I feel stupid just saying that. And he doesn't. People keep writing to me about how I don't understand crypto and it's the future. No, I get it. I've had experts on my stream and I've really thought about it. I realize the tech behind a personalized coin can get around banks and a cold wallet can get around converged companies that already ban people like Coinbase. Bear in, bear in mind, people are telling me to use Bitcoin and Coinbase to get around censorship, and some of my friends have been kicked off Coinbase. And then they go, oh, cold wallet. Okay. And then Bitcoin, you can see that the FBI and these people can seize all your assets. And they go, oh, Morano, Freedom Coin. Stop. Like, you guys just keep shifting and changing every time your scam has been revealed. Let me explain to you what the future will look like with crypto. Okay, I also realize that the limited amount of coins and encryption makes it so they can't inflate it and be sneaky. I understand how central banking works. I understand how the Federal Reserve works, how they can use the, um, what's it called, the Mandrake, uh, what's it, I don't know. I, I, dude, I know a lot about it. I've studied George Gaiman and all these guys. Like, I know how it works. And how they can just create money out of nothing, deflate the currency, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And, and you say that because there's only 21 million Bitcoins and blah, 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 and you can't make more, that will end that. No, you're not understanding it. One, currency only matters if people accept it and use it. Just because you can de- de- design a uh, private coin does not mean anyone will use it or accept it. So it will have no value as a currency. And you call it a commodity. It's not a commodity. Silver is a commodity. Silver is a precious metal. People want metal. They want water. They want dirt. Uh, land, protected land, oil, nickel, cobalt. Those are commodities. Bitcoin is not a commodity. It doesn't exist. It's a currency. Okay. That's what it is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a way of trade. It's not a commodity. All right. Like you're, you're, you're surrounded right now by an incredible amount of wizard spells. The government determines what you pay taxes in and what they issue to their employees and their dependents. If no one accepts your dumb coin, it isn't a currency regardless of your tech. Now, you can have your best friend, um, Ricky Retardo, and you guys can exchange your little coins all you want, but it doesn't have any value. And you can say, well, you can't exchange gold at Walmart. Well, gold has innate value. It doesn't tarnish. It's a beautiful metal. It's soft. People make jewelry out of it, and they want it. And many governments in the world... Is that honestly all he thinks gold is used for? Is pretty and shiny? 
<laughs> that's <laughs> that's surprisingly telling. Uh, gold. They will buy gold. Gold has a value. Your coin you invent that is unbreakable and encrypted and all this stuff, it doesn't have any value in reality. And someone said, well, Twitter doesn't, you can't hold Twitter. I'm like, yes, and I was kicked off Twitter for five years. Would you Would you want to be kicked off the only currency people accept for five years? Are you, are you crazy? I'm having uh, not a lot of patience for these people anymore because the only thing more, the only thing they have more than their ignorance is their arrogance. And then when you uh, point out that um, maybe there's... I've... I watched part of a, and I might do a video on it. I watched part of a documentary and it was five or six years old, shot five or six years ago. And just watching his older videos and how he used to talk compared to how he talks now. I know I talk a lot of crap about the whole nickel thing. No reason to go back more longer than three years, but it is interesting to see just the change in five years of someone. You would hope that people grow as they get older and they mature and they learn to be content and uh, joyful, happy. And don't get me wrong. Happiness is not the most important thing in the world. A lot of people get distracted by that. But just watching him talk now compared to how he talked then, I mean, I, I think I know one of the reasons why, and and I think I've already talked about this, but him bombing pisses him off so much. And so that would be failure. So failure upsets him. Being rejected upsets him. Not getting money upsets him. And so, I mean, I guess that's kind of, the reason why he is this. Some problems with crypto, and I'm not even done explaining it. They then call you a shill. Oh, you, you, you don't understand. No, no, I do fucking understand. That's the problem. I do understand. And now the only question is, are you intentionally misrepresenting this so that you make money off your dupe audience? Or do you actually believe it and you haven't thought about it? So let me explain it very clearly. Okay, the government is what determines all of it. And you can pretend to get around the government, but you can't because the government determines your status of private property because they have the army. Now you can say, oh, then. All right. So uh, this is the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius, as always. Till next time.